There we have another state to project. It is the state of North Carolina, big battleground state. It's going to Donald Trump. 15 electoral votes right there, one of his core four states. So Matthew Dowd, he is filling in that map the way he needs to fill it in. Yeah, as we talked about, she had all the paths in the world when the night began. Now he has multiple paths to the Electoral College to get to 270 at this point. She, at this point, I wouldn't say has to run the table, but she has to come close to winning all the big prizes out there. Yeah, she has to win the state of Nevada that is still out there. She has to win the state of Minnesota that is still out there. She has to win the state of Wisconsin, the state of Michigan, the state of Pennsylvania, and the state of New Hampshire. Yeah, she's got to, she's got to now run the table. And we've been talking for weeks. Republicans privately have been saying this is a very narrow path for Donald Trump. But now suddenly here, tonight, we see a narrow path for Hillary Clinton. Can I, can I just point out one key number that's coming in, and this is emerging as the storyline of the night out of the national exit polls. Trump's margin among non-college yeah. voters is the highest going back, you know, 30 years. Look at this. 39-point gap between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton when it comes to non-college whites. That's better than Ronald Reagan did. In 1984. Amy Robach, I can only imagine the cheers went, that went up in uh, the New York Hilton when you heard that North Carolina call. Oh, you can imagine. It was surreal. There was so much screaming and so much excitement in this room. And then right after they finished celebrating, they started chanting, Florida, 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 and call it, call it, call it. And so everyone is anxiously awaiting for that state to be called, but they are certainly celebrating tonight. You can see the sea of red hats behind me. Earlier this evening, no one had those hats on, those Make America Great Again hats. You can see behind me, everyone is proudly wearing them right now and very excited to be here and waiting for Trump to show up later this evening.